Oh, fucking, how easy was that? Oh, no. You're fucking ki- <laughs> Fuck! This guy's trying to steal my fucking otter! I just found another one. Oh my god, this gave me AIDS as well. Where is that otter? There it is, there it is. Oh my god, it's level 110 as well. Can I tame it? Or did they already start? Oh wait, these are the guys that I just raided. Oh, they're trying to steal my otter now too? Oh wait, it has a mate boost. Is there another one around here? Where is it? Oh yeah, there is. What level, what level? Ah, oh, 45. Alright, let's tame this one. Beautiful. Oh my god, it's so happy. So, so happy. So, so happy. <laughs> Eat it. Ah, oh, baby. Alright. Let's grab this. Hey, where is it? Okay, it's on me. Cool, cool, cool. There we go. Awesome, we got one fucking otter, boys. Alright, so these guys want their cementing paste back. And they're gonna tame this up, finish taming it up, and unclaim it to me. Beautiful. Alright, came back to base, grabbed a bunch of cementing paste for these guys. And uh, I'm actually giving them a lot more than I got from their raid. But cementing paste is easy for me. I've got the snails now, so not a problem. And I really need this otter, so give them back. Give them back. Hello. So. There we go. Good trade, good trade. Alright, awesome. I'm happy with that deal. Let's head back to base, do a few more artifact runs with the beds, and then we'll go do a pickup uh, afterwards. Alright, next up we're going to be hatching these eggs that we got from the raid earlier. Not really expecting too much, uh, but this one here possibly might be good. Uh, it's got a level 240 uh, parent, so it may be good. You never know. So anyway, I'll cut back once they hatch, and uh, we'll see what we got. Alright, first one, one f oh god, these are going to be shit, aren't they? <laughs> uh, what have we got? 688, 544, anything else that I'm missing? Nah, both trash. Alright, that's unfortunate, but what can you do? The moment has finally come, boys. We're manning up, and we're coming out here to tame up an anglerfish. Ah, <sighs> it's kind of a meme on the channel, but every time I tame up an anglerfish, it lasts about a day. Even, like, even less than a day. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I'm not very excited about doing this, but, hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. So, we've got the raft out here, we've got a bunch of shit, we've got some beds, we've got extra scuba and everything. And, uh, hopefully this goes well. I'll cut back once we find a decent level angler, and I'll see you guys then. Oh, we found an angler. Oh, it's fucking level 15. You know what? Fuck it, I'm gonna tame it up. Cause I'm a savage. Those electric eels are scaring me though. Wait, what level is this one? I didn't even see this one. Oh, there's fucking 15 as well? Are you kidding me? Alright, let's just lure it away from the electric eels. Sounds like a plan. Easy. Alright, how long is this going to take to tame? 10 minutes? 2 kibble? I'll fucking take it. Alright, let's go grab the raft and then we'll come back for it. Level 15 though. This is guaranteed to die in this episode, I fucking bet ya. Let me know in the comments below how long you guys think this anglerfish is going to last. I'm going to say a solid... Three hours. No, not even that. Probably this this fucking pearl run I'm gonna do is gonna die. Anyway, I'll see you guys once it's tamed up. Oh, would you look at those stats? Three twelve stamina, seven hundred and twenty health, hundred and ten milli. Oof. She's a keeper, boys. She's a keeper. There we go. Angler is tamed up. What stats do we get? Oh hell yeah, one forty five damage. I don't think any points went into stamina and a little bit into health. Alright. Let's go build you a home and farm up a shit ton of pearls before two times ends. Alright, just got back to base, did a pretty thick poly run until the fucking moss drops died to somebody's turrets. Uh, I think we ended up like with 1k 
organic poly. Uh, now we've been taking full advantage of the two times and we've crafted up quite a decent amount of electronics. Uh, so we're going to do a big craft of heavy turrets and hopefully we have enough metal to uh, craft up a decent amount. Okay, that's all the metal we have. It's actually not that much because we need like 400 per heavy turret, I think. Is it? Yeah, it is. Fucking hell, they're so expensive. Alright, I need to go around and uh, grab all the turrets down that we're going to be crafting. And as you can see, I've already crafted up a bunch of heavy turrets. I think I've crafted up about 14 or 15. So we've got three in each corner on the crafting area. Uh, we've got two on this roof, I believe, and then we've got some on the ground as well. So anyway, we're going to be working on the turrets up here. Alright, that should be enough turrets. Um, and the base is looking pretty undefended. That's a juicy fucking raid for someone. Let's quickly get these crafted up so that we don't get hit. And there we go. Um, what are we missing? Oh, we're out of polymer. Yeah. Polymer's our issue. Actually, do we have any more? We might be able to craft up one more. Yeah, I might even use uh, hard poly to finish up the rest, maybe. Don't really want to, but... Alright, how many turrets do we end up with? 24? Not bad, I'll fucking take it. Oh god, I'm overweight. Uh... Oh, super happy about that, holy shit. Alright, let's grab out a bunch of ammo, chuck these turrets up, and then we'll just kick back and admire how great this base is gonna fucking look. There we go. Put all the heavies up, and uh, we're taking all the lights down and just transferred the bullets into the heavies. Since the heavies are a lot more effective, and uh, it's starting to look like a real base now. <laughs> it really is. Oh, boys. It's looking good. It's looking good. Let's uh, actually, let's check the turret count. See what we got. See what we're working with. Alright, 83. Not bad, not bad. 82. What have we got over here? 85. Alright. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's, that's very good. That's very good. Obviously, we need to work on the bullet grind, which I'm going to be doing for the remainder of the two times, I think. Actually, two times might even be over now. Fuck. Or we've got like one more hour left. So yeah, I'll probably just try and grind out as much um, cementing paste as possible. Cementing paste? Spark powder as possible. And uh, yeah, we'll just do the slow gunpowder grind, bullet grind over the uh, next couple of days and get these nice and filled up. Uh, obviously, we need a bunch more turrets. Uh, but yeah, I'm really happy with the progress. It's looking good, boys. I'm fucking super happy. All right, so just finished picking up all the artifacts from our K vaults. Uh, Xero did some of these, I think it was last night or something, then I picked up all the massive ones. Uh, since that one is a bit more difficult, you have to kill all the stuff. You have to clear it out before you uh, go and get the artifacts, which I did. And uh, unfortunately, I fucking fell in the lava with the, uh, the high-level otter. And that one could carry, like, I think three or four rows. Like, the weight was crazy on that one. Uh, so yeah, it's a bit unfortunate there. Rip to that. We'll have to go tame up another one. Uh, but the lower level one did the did the job. I think that carries like two two rows or two and a half rows, whatever. Um, but yeah, really happy with that. Now today, uh, our Megatherium's finished raising. So I think we've got eight or nine fully raised 100% imprint ones. Uh, I've got them all saddled up now. So what we're going to try out is Beta Broodmother. Uh, this could go horribly wrong and we lose all of our megatheriums, but I'm hoping that doesn't happen <laughs> for obvious fucking reasons. Uh, now, a lot of you have been saying that I could do alpha brood fairly easily, blah, 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 but I can't. I don't have the, the active members to uh, do it because you need, like, I think a minimum of six people to do alpha brood, uh, and I've literally got two people on maximum at a time. We're going to try beta brood now, so I'm going to get everything ready. And I'll see you guys then. Alright, here we go. Beta fucking brood. Oh, I'm fucking nervous. If this goes bad, I might just have to end the fucking series. Are all the teams in? Yes, yeah, we're looking good. Alright. Okay. 
Let's fucking do it. Oh shit, one of the Mega Theorems is very bloody. That's scary. I think we might lose a few actually. I wish I could whistle move it out, but everything else is gonna move. And I don't want to get off in case I fucking die. <laughs> Should be fine, right? Maybe? Come on, almost there! Hell yeah, boys! Look at all them engrams. Oof! Alright, who got the element? Oh my god, this one got so low, 2k. Jeebus. There it is, 28 element. Oof! Loving it. Alright. Ah, oh, so happy we can do that duo. It is a bit risky. Um, as you could, as you saw that other one, it had like 2k health. But, yeah, I'm just happy we can do it. That's fucking awesome. That's a lot more efficient uh, element wise. Obviously we need to farm up the, the trophies and stuff, but they're very easy. I think it's like, what is it again? Let's have a look. Um, this one, right? Yeah. So it's just RG Talon, Sarko Skin, Sauropod, Vertebra, Titan Bow Venom. So all very, very easy stuff. The, probably the hardest thing is going to be the RG Talons, uh, just because we're so far away from RGs and you kind of have to farm those uh, with a flyer. Uh, but apart from that, everything else is super, super easy. So, oh, so happy. Awesome. Anyway, we're going to end the episode there, guys. I hope you did enjoy. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you did. Let us know in the comments below how you felt and uh, how long you reckon the, uh, the anglerfish live for. And uh, as always, stay fucking awesome. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.